everybody, welcome back to So Me Sunshine. It's lovely to see you guys again. And today's video we're doing is all about sewing in January. So I know that sometimes, I know I personally lack a bit of inspiration when it comes to the new year. So hopefully this will give you some sewing inspiration. We've gone for a selection of fabrics and paired them with some patterns that are really good for this time of year. Um, so hopefully we'll get you kick-started into sewing for 2022. We've got Celia in the studio today packing all your lovely orders. So you might hear her in the background. Thank you so much for all your orders. As always, it means the world to us. And Jenny's here too, um, filming for us. So I'll get to it and show you the fabrics. So at So Me Sunshine, we absolutely love corduroy. We always joke that it's kind of like the fabric for winter, like we've got all our linens for the summertime. So we're a huge fan of corduroy. We've got some really nice needle cords in a range of different colors. And then we've got these jumbo cords, which I love. So these are 100% cotton. So they don't have any stretch to them. And the whales, so the whale is what you call the ridge in the corduroy is nice and thick and chunky which is very fashionable and again we've got it in a variety of different colors this is our lovely kind of khaki green color I think we've called it on the website it's really nice very on trend for this time of year and also very versatile color it will pair really nicely with different things you've already got in your wardrobe so Jenny is really keen to make herself some jumbo cord dawn jeans. So the dawn jeans are from Megan Nielsen. So they require a non-stretch denim or corduroy fabric or trouser fabric. Um, so our jumbo cords would be perfect for them. And like I said, we've got a lot of different colors in stock. We've just gone for this color because we thought it would pair really nicely with other things that you might already have in your wardrobe. Um, so they're really lovely trousers and really versatile. And also we've just st restocked our jeans hardware kits from Kind in the Machine. So last year she changed the kit slightly. So we've got, I, I think we've still got maybe a couple of the old kits on, but we've reduced them to clear. And then we've got the new kits in that she's kind of tweaked a little bit just to make them a little bit better from some feedback she got from customers. So we've got the hardware kits. So they come with jeans, zips and the rivets and things like that. And they're really, really useful, especially if you're new to sewing um, jeans. They're perfect. And we've got them in a copper and a matte gold colorway and they're on the website. So yeah, if, it, if you really wanna make jeans as your kind of like resolution for this year, then why not try out the jeans, uh, the Dawn jeans in this lovely corduroy? So you might have seen the new See You at Six collection that went live and they've gone down really, really well. And we've still got some of this beautiful rayon in their collection in stock. This is actually my favorite fabric in the collection. I really like See You at Six rayons because they have a really nice weight to them, but still have the lovely drape, which is what you'd expect with viscose. So this is a gorgeous kind of like, um kind of brownie orange color background which I think is really lovely and it's covered in this stunning floral design it's not a ditzy floral print but it's also not large scale there's my hand there for you to see so it's a really really pretty fabric it's completely opaque as well so you wouldn't need to line it so you might not know, but with See You at Six, the way they work is they work on a pre-order scheme. So they bring out their collection and then buyers like myself will look at the collection, choose it and pre-order it. So what that means is that they're very unlikely to do a rerun or a reprint of a collection. So once we've received the fabrics and once they've sold out, unfortunately, that we can't get them again. So once this is gone, I don't think they'll be reprinting this one. So it's just to bear in mind if this is a fabric you really like. 
So because this is a obviously a viscose fabric with a lovely drape, it works really well for dresses or blouses. And we thought it would work really lovely with the Roscoe, which is one of my favorite dresses. I've got a lovely lilac one that Lisa kindly made for me. And this is by True Bias. It's a really nice dress and I think it works really well throughout the seasons because you can pair it with tights when it's a bit colder and then obviously go bare-legged if you want in the spring summertime. So C6 are really renowned for their French terry fabrics just because they're really good quality French terry. So when I say French terry, what that means is that the reverse has this lovely soft looped back. So it's not brushed and it's not a fleecy back, it's a looped back. So that means that it's not your heavy sweatshirting fabric. So again, it's really good fabric to use for making a jumper or a cardigan because it will last you through the seasons because it's not gonna be overly warm, but it will still keep you warm when it is a bit colder outside. So this was one of theirs out of the new collection. Um, it's got this gorgeous like mustardy yellow background and then it's got this lovely striped design with the pink and the coral running through it. Now C at six do do matching ribbing in the colors but um, we've actually sold out of the mustard colorway. However, we've actually got some of our ribbing in this uh, um, mustard colour that actually is a really good match. So if you didn't, if you wanted to make something and didn't want to self rib with the same fabric, this ribbing would work really well with it. So like I said, it's got a really lovely stretch and recovery and it would work really well for a cardigan or a jumper. And one of my favourite jumper patterns out there is the Linden sweatshirt by Grainline Studio. It was one of the first sweatshirt patterns actually I personally made. Um, it's a really good, fairly easy, simple sew. And especially if you're new to sewing a sweatshirt, it's a really good one to go for. Um, and yeah, I found it pretty easy for my first sweatshirt. And this would look really nice made up in this beautiful French terry. We've also got this lovely French terry from C6. This isn't from their most recent collection, um, but we've still got this in stock. Um, it's a really lovely green colour. It's very pale green. Um, it's called tea green from C6, but the girls think it's a bit more like a matcha green. And again, it's got that really nice looped back to it, which is really nice and soft against the skin but again not overly warm so would work really well throughout the seasons and we do have the matching ribbing for this in stock as well which is really good because this green color would be quite a hard one to find a good match so if you didn't want to self rib you've got we've got the lovely matching ribbing there as well so like all the French Terries from C6 has a really good stretch and recovery. This one has this quite subtle grid design all over it, which is quite contemporary and yeah, it would work really well. Really versatile print would work well with other things I'm sure in your wardrobe. Um, we thought it would work really well sewn up as a Marl End sweatshirt by Closet Core Patterns. There's a couple of different variations there. I actually think the one with the hood would work really well and it would look lovely made up in this gorgeous C6 French Terry. So we've just restocked all of these lovely cotton jerseys. These are organic cotton jerseys and I really like the polka dot design on them but the fact that they're not quite uniform polka dots I think is really fun. We've got them in a variety of colours, we've got this lovely pink colour here, we've also got a white, a black, um, I'm just looking over, a green and like a burnt orange colour which actually Celia's used to make herself something which Jenny has shared on Instagram so you can go over and have a look at that and this is a really good jersey, again, it's got really lovely stretch and recovery, so it would really work perfectly for making yourself a t-shirt. So we thought it would work well 
as the Rio Ringer t-shirt from True Bias. It also comes as a, a t-shirt dress if you fancied. And with the Rio, you, you do need to have ribbing. And again, if you didn't want to do like the kind of use the, what we call self ribs, so we use the same fabric for the ribbing, we do have a range of ribbings in stock. Now we don't have a pink that would be a perfect match for this. So I actually think it'd be better to go for like one, the black and use the black polka dots kind of with the ribbing. And I think that would be a really lovely contrast for the neckband and the armbands. And like I said, we've got so many different colors in stock. So if um, pink isn't your thing, then we've, I'm sure we've got another color in stock that you will like. So we've got these lovely wool blend checks in stock. So we've got this gorgeous kind of like dusky pink rose color. And then we've also got a really classic mustardy dark mustard color as well. So they've got a small amount of wool in them and then the rest is polyester. So they're a wool blend. And the check design is actually obviously woven into the fabric. They're really good quality. They're not actually a heavy weight. They're more what I'd call like a medium weight. So although it is obviously a wool, it is actually got a tiny bit, some drape to it. You can see there, it's not overly structured. So it's what you'd call like a wool suiting rather than a coating. So it would work really well as maybe some structured trousers, a structured skirt. But what we th were really drawn to is the idea of making like an oversized shirt. So like an outer shirt, so you could almost wear it as a jacket um, and that would work really lovely. And we thought it of the pattern would be the Ilford jacket. Now with the Ilford jacket, obviously we see the short version quite a lot but it also does come with a slightly lengthened version and we thought that would look really good in these checks in both colorways if pink's not your thing like i said we've got the nice like dark mustard color and it would look really nice as like an over this oversized shirt for keeping you a little bit more warm as it is quite chilly in london at the moment so we've got a lot of Eglantine Zoe in stock at So Me Sunshine and they bought out a collection fairly recently and we've stocked some of the fabrics from the collection including this beautiful one. So it's got a classic black background and then the floral design is all is very abstract so it's got like geometric kind of like shapes all over it clustered together to look like a floral print. So it's not kind of like your kind of classic floral print it's definitely more of an abstract look and with Eglantine Zoe the type of viscose that they normally go for is what we call like a viscose crepe so it's got kind of that classic crepe texture so it's slightly rough to touch and then it's got a really lovely drape and movement and it's actually not lightweight like you'd find with a viscose lawn it's more of a medium weight so it's got a really nice body to it this is completely opaque and so that means that you wouldn't have to worry about lining any garment you choose. This type of fabric lends itself really well to kind of like dress or blouse. So we thought of two patterns actually. Um, we thought of the closet core patterns Pauline dress would work really well in this fabric. But the other one which I was really keen to see made up in this is the I am Irma so you've got two versions so you could go for like the shorter kind of like blouse look or go for like the tunic length dress which I think would work really lovely in this fabric and it would work really well for this time of year and again it would transition really nicely into springtime as well so this is the last fabric we're going to show you in this week's video and this is our ultra black de stretch denim. So with black denim it's actually really hard to find kind of what, like just a completely dark black. It's normally got like um, almost like a grey or a charcoal look. So when we saw this I had to get it for the shop and it's also quite special because it's actually got a little bit of tensile blended in with it as well um, and there's lots of information about tensile on the website if you want to have a look but yeah so it is special having that fiber 
incorporated into the fabric. Now it ha does have a really good stretch. It has a, what you call a two-way stretch, so it's long this way and it's got a good recovery. Now it obviously it's a denim, so it's structured as you can see there. It holds its shape. So it lends itself really well to making yourself a pair of trousers or a pair of dungarees. And we were just saying that we're all kind of drawn to making kind of like the classic gorgeous big printed blouses with the statement collars and then we kind of forget to make ourselves the basics to kind of go with those lovely statement blouses. So we were thought that it would be really good to promote this black denim to make a pair of dungarees and then you can wear your amazing blouses underneath. So we're a huge fan of the Merchant Mills Harleen dungarees. It's a really nice dungaree pattern and it would work really well in this deep classic black stretch denim. So thanks for watching. I hope you like the fabrics that we picked out for you today and it's given you a bit of inspiration to get sewing in the beginning of 2022. And I hope as well we've given you a little bit of inspiration to make some classic basics as well to add to your me made wardrobe. It was lovely seeing you guys again. Let us know below which fabric's your favorite and what you plan to make with it. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, bye.